Hello everyone. Yesterday I done a video uh, based upon the uh, punch out book that I have, Star Wars, and I mentioned that I had a another book that I thought was really cool and I want to share with you folks. So here it is. There's an Iron On transfer book from 1978. The price of it at that time was six dollars and ninety five cents. It has 16 different prints, which is pretty cool. I'm going to try to open them up to see some of them anyway. But uh, let's see. We have the Darth Vader one here. And we have Stormtrooper. We have RDD2 and C3PO here. I really like this one. Hang on, I get the, the order. I got the Star Wars one here. I mean, these are very old. I've never ever used them, obviously. I have the Star Wars one here. And I never will. <clears throat> the fact is, is that it's pretty cool to know that back then, I'm sure that you couldn't go to a store and buy a print shirt like I have on right now, and what I'm sure mostly everybody wears. Uh, so it was kind of cool that they recognized nice this and so for those who, uh, who wanted to wear the Star Wars on their shirts they done something like this it's Luke Skywalker uh, I've had this for a long time I have obviously never had it since 1978 like yet again I was only a little kid back then but I've had it for uh, for a fair amount of time and I take care of it Tusken Raider sand people uh, now just give me a second here now uh, R2-D2, Jawas, another R2-D2, oh, sorry, Darth uh, Vader one. I absolutely love this one. It's uh, based upon the original Ralph, like, core drawings or something, I don't know. Another one, Han and Chewie. I put a piece of cardboard, comic book cardboard, so it wouldn't bend. Another Star Wars there. And another one is C-3PO and Luke Skywalker. And another one is Han Solo. And that's pretty much it. You can see how it faded to the other side, eh? That's pretty cool. Uh, keep this constantly in a piece of plastic, comic book plastic. Uh, and I keep a piece of cardboard inside of his comic book ones, um, just so it wouldn't bend and stuff. It'd be a shame to actually uh, have anything happen to this. It's so old and it's in excellent, excellent shape as you can see. Uh, I mean, I've been a Star Wars fan since as long as from. I don't remember a, a life not being a Star Wars fan. In 1977, I was three, so obviously, I like to think I was, uh, you know, a fan back then, but obviously, I probably wasn't. But the thing is, is that all my memories I have as a little kid growing up has been based around uh, Star Wars. I found a picture as I was rooting through my things there the other day. This is my old bed bedroom. On the back, I got Star Wars. There, see it? And um, if I had to take a guess when this picture was, oh, I'd say I was probably... At the most, 11. And in my room, I had all the car packs or car backs on the wall and all the action figures took you. And I actually took those action fake figures out carefully. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Thanks for watching and have yourself a nice day.